What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube play of the daytime. We're coming at you guys with two more spots today. Smaller slate, uh, Thursday slate, obviously full game. Um, every game will be in action tomorrow. So this is that uh, four game early, four game late type of slate. Uh, and obviously we're coming off of a nice little day there again on our um, Dinger Tuesday slate. So um, we will recap. Um, we went one and one, but obviously we, we ended up losing this one. Uh, McLean did not get a hit and then yesterday gets two. So uh, just the wrong side of that one. Obviously McLean usually is pretty reliable for us, but uh, Scherzer didn't even get there. So we're good. Um, Biggest play in a while was Singer under three and a half. Was not sweaty till the end. I was very surprised to see him go back out for that, uh, I think it was eighth inning, seventh or eighth inning. Um, and he was shoving, so um, made one mistake, gave, gave up a home run, and he looked great the rest of the time. So, Singer, uh, keep doing your thing, man, continuing to put up quality starts. Um, and obviously, he's been fantastic lately. Uh, big thing, we got, so we made half a unit there. We ended up making 1.45 units on home runs. Kyle Tucker, go ahead, Granny, off of Felix Batista. What a way to catch that one. Um, so we ended up being almost two full units up in that one. Um, one and one on the day prior to that one there. So that ends up putting us at 42, 33, 9, 8, 4. We've been pushing for double digits for a while, guys, and hopefully we can get there today. Um, another um, mix of a plus money spot and a little juice on one. So, um if you could, smash that like button. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to, to come through um, for you guys today as well. So first play, um, I'm going to pull it up right away so you guys can see it. I'm going to be going Patrick Corbin, no win. Zach Littell, um, under 15 and a half outs. That is for Tampa Bay. And um, that is what we'll be rolling with here. So let's talk about that a little bit. So first off, Patrick Corbin, no win. Um Facing off against the Phillies, Phillies have actually been playing significantly better, um, and we've seen uh, we've seen him have one win in his last four starts. Um, that being against the Mets, who who have really struggled with the Mets, also gave up a ton of runs in that game. He ended up giving up four earned. Patrick Corbin, but still got the win. Um, and then obviously his crazy one in Texas, like a month and a half ago, where he just absolutely shoved on the Rangers, but. Um, I don't think he's getting a win here. We have Zach Wheeler on the other side, a guy that we really like to to back and want to want to be betting on him quite often. So um, he's been better at home. I think we continue to see um, him continue to dominate at home, um, and hopefully Corbin continues to give up that power that he always does. He always has that power issue there. Three homers in his last start, two the one before, um, and then he even gave one. 10 hits in a home run to the Colorado Rockies out of course, which is not a good look. So sign me up for no win there. Zach Littell has yet to cross 82 pitches this year. Um, his last outing, he, he, I think that's why we're getting this at even a good number here. 74 pitches, six innings against the Tigers. He was an absolutely cruise mode. Um, 11 ground balls, eight fly balls, only one strikeout. Uh, three hits allowed. Obviously, I, I do not mind fading that Tigers offense. Um, they're kind of in that mode where they don't really care as much. Um, so he had that one. Even a good, good outing against Houston. He gave up eight hits to her, and he ends up getting to five innings flat. Um, you're facing off against the Cardinals here. They're pretty patient. They got a good mix uh, of lefties and righties in that lineup. And, and I understand. I just don't think that we're – I think he's going to be in like that Colin Reyes spot, right? Get that time two, th two times through the order, and if you're absolutely shoving, we'll let you go through. Um, <clears throat> but I don't expect that to, to be happening here against this Cardinals team. It's a good lineup, um, and hopefully they'll be able to continue putting the ball in play. And uh, I know Tyler O'Neill got scratched yesterday. I expect him back in today. Uh, still a good lineup top to bottom um, and a tough one to navigate through, especially for a guy who's not usually a starter. All right, guys, let me pull up my second play here. Again, if you could hit that like button, it goes a long way here on the channel. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going Trey Turner. Over two and a half hits runs RBIs. I know, guys. I, I've been bashing him for a while. Um, I think it's because I wasted my first overall pick in fantasy on him, and my team is still finding a way to grind through the season. But, yeah, it, it's time. It's time where Trey Turner starts taking off a little bit. Um, going through here, he's got one, two, three. Six game hit streak, multi hits in three of those six. 
Um, he's already raised his batting average in those six games from 235, 243. Um, what I really like here is just looking at the underlying numbers. We're seeing these get significantly better, right? Um, against the breaking ball, he's got an, uh, an expected batting average over 300. Fastballs this month expected slugging over 600. Um, whiffs are not there as much, right? Only 16% on the fastball. Um, and if we go down, right, we go through the whole year. That is a significant jump, right? If we go even to last month, an expected batting average on breaking balls at 177, right? Expecting batting average on the fastball is 255. It's been a bad season for him. I understand that. But he's definitely starting to have a little bit of signs of life. We're seeing the extra base hits, which is huge. Even got a stolen base in there a couple of days ago. This lineup is stacked. If we do see him at the leadoff position, I think this is an absolutely smash spot, which I expect with a lefty on the mound. Hopefully um, they put Turner there and they move that move Schwarber down a little bit in this lineup um, because the Phillies are going to be at their best when Turner's at the top. And Turner needed to, to show that he's, he's ready to go to be there. So even if he does get pushed to four or five, I don't mind the RBI opportunities. But if he's leadoff, run scored is – Damn near a given. Um, obviously, we've seen Corbin walk quite a few guys. So it doesn't matter where he is in the order. Yes, would I prefer him in the leadoff spot? 100%. But if he does get put in that five hole, um, I don't mind that for RBI opportunities. This Phillies lineup has been playing much better. He should have opportunities with guys on base to get those RBIs. And even the bottom of this order has been great. So um, Trey Turner, over two and a half hits, runs RBIs plus 100. And Littell under 15 and a half outs with Corbin not to record a win at minus 114. Both of those DraftKings plays. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Again, let's get to that 10 unit mark, guys. I'm really excited to, to hopefully get there. Um, no home run picks, obviously, for today, but excited to get after it. So uh, hit your like button on the way out. Subscribe to the channel. We're closing in. Want to get to 2K before football season. I'd really appreciate it if you guys keep hitting that like button. It, it helps us out a lot. So. Have a good one, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow for Pat.